good morning students today we will learn about the doctrine of lapse last class we studied about subsidiary aligned system likewise one of the system doctrine of lapse so what do you mean by doctrine of lapse who introduced this system i will explain like the policy of subsidiary alliance the doctrine of lapse was also introduced to expand british territories in india these all uh, systems was uh, introduced why because to expand british territories in india that that uh, was their purpose this was a policy of the company to annex kingdoms the policy is most commonly associated with lord dalhousie who was the governor general of the east india company in india between 1848 to 1856 here we can understand that Uh, under under governor general lord dalhousie annexations were at the peak level so then what do you mean by uh, doctrine of lapse as per this policy this policy means uh, doctrine of lapse if an indian ruler died without a male heir or uh, successor what will happen his kingdom would become the <coughs> part of the company territory part of the company means east india company british and uh, the right to adopt children was not accepted Jansi, Nagpur and Sathara were annexed under this policy. That is what is about <coughs> doctrine of lapse. We jump to another point. Come to the last point. Stru- structure of administration. Uh, we can study here. civil service army police judicial organization four points are here i will explain one by one first one civil service lord cornwallis established the indian civil service in 1793 which came to be called the steel frame of the indian administration in 1864 satendra tagore became the first indian to qualify for the ic ics examination and who was satendra tagore he was the elder brother of rabindranath tagore earlier the directors of companies used to appoint young recruits after 1853 recruitment was done through a written examination the east india college was set up in england to educate the civil servant about indian customs languages and norms of governance as to point we are studying structure of administration uh, army the army was an important instrument for defending consolidating and extending the british rule in india even though the indians formed the majority of the british army they could not 
hold high positions most of the soldiers were indian in fact an indian soldier could not rise beyond the level of subedar okay thank you to be continued in next class